You want to see what failure, failure of leadership looks like? Simple today. Turn on the TV. Turn on the news. I don't care what news. They're either going to be it or they're going to show it. But it's real simple today to see what failure of leadership looks like. And the biggest leadership failure that we see today comes from people who are seeking power. Leadership, true leadership. Leadership is all about vision. It's all about having an ideal, a place to strive, something to strive for, something to work for, something to yearn for that we all can buy into. Leadership is building consensus, getting people to buy into that vision, getting people to, to want to be a part of that vision, getting people to dream that they can be a part of that vision. Leadership is inspiring people to be better, inspiring people to do more, inspiring people to do good things, great things, big things, little things. Leadership is all about supporting people to do more, supporting them to grow, supporting them to have more opportunity. Leadership truly is serving people so that they can be better, they can do more, they can have more. Power? Power demands compliance. Power demands that you acquiesce what you want and give it to them. Power demands that you perform for them in the fashion they want, to the ends that they want. Power demands that you produce for them Power is one over the many. Leadership really is the many leading the one, which is interesting. Leadership, we think of leadership in this hierarchy fashion. I'm going to talk about that. But true leadership is somebody coming up with a vision, but everybody else doing, everybody else moving it forward for everybody, not for the one. Power is the one over the many. You will do for them so they can have what they want. And people give in to power because of fear of consequence. That's how power rules. That's how power gets its power. By telling you, if you don't do this, then this will happen to you. And so we acquiesce to power because we fear the consequences. I read a statement, a comment the other day. It says, long-term sustainable success can never lie in the manipulation of power. If you want to succeed long-term, long you can't do it by using power. You can in a short term by using power because you make people afraid. Power is gained in the short term, but it's short-sighted. And it's only gained through short-sighted actions. What can I get you to do today so I can have this power? Its destruction is inherent within itself. Because people who are operating from a position of power, they will tear down and they will destroy everything they've achieved when the power dynamics has changed. Look what's going on in our country today. The people who have been in power now have a bright light shining on them that they have been corrupt, that they have been using it to get what they want in, in exchange for everybody else giving up what they have. And now that it's become exposed, they're willing to tear it all down to tear down our society, to tear down the structure and fabric of what we have in order to get their power back. Power has no authority. It only has its own strength. And as long as that strength is there, will that power have any effort behind it. Leadership, on the other hand, gets its authority from the consent of the people around 
that leader, it gives it, and, and, and those people give it a lasting strength because the leader is working for the people around it. They are not demanding that the people work for them. That's called power. We tend to give in to people who claim that they are stronger than us, who have, who claim they have all this power, who claim that they know better, who claim that they have what we want. And that's how they do it. They say, I will give you this if you give me that. If you give me the power, I will give you this. And so we give in to them because they claim to be stronger than us. And so we just give in to them. Leadership isn't all about a hierarchy. Power is about, I mean, they will make it, they will make you think it's leadership. Power is leaders over the followers. True leadership is the followers being in charge of the leader, which is really an odd way of thinking about it, but it's true because the leader will only do what the followers want. But that's not what power is. People in power get power because we don't question how they got there. We don't question their motives. We just think they're bigger, stronger, faster, better, smarter, and we just give in to them because we don't want to do the hard work. We assume that their position makes them a leader. Leadership can turn into power if we're not careful. Really easy. Politics today is so full of leaders who quit leading and started using power because we acquiesced power to them. We gave up our responsibility. We gave them this authority and now they want to keep it. And I'm not saying, I'm not picking sides because everybody does it. Everybody in politics does it. Everybody in a position of power does it, even in business. Now it's, it's become a little more rare in business because there are markets and customers and you know, if if you're a leader running a business and you're doing it from a position of power, you eventually will find you have no employees and no customers. That's the way it should be. In politics, they maintain their power because they, they give us money, they withhold money, they, they punish us with rules, they take away the rules, whatever gets them to stay in power. Leaders in politics today have stopped leading and started using power to keep what they have. Their legendary status causes the people to not question their actions and not question what they're doing because they give us what we want. And, and today in our society, they give us money. People in power in politics today will do and say anything to keep that power. They'll even change what they say. They'll flip-flop, if you want to use that term. They'll change what they say to keep the power. They'll tell you what you want to hear. Watch political candidates. They'll go to one community, if they're a national politician, they'll go to one state and say one thing. They'll go to another state and say something else. They'll go to a private group and say something different. Because in order to stay power, they have to tell you what you want to hear. That's not leadership. That's power. They'll do anything and they'll say anything to keep that power. If you want to succeed in your life, it's not through power. Power does not breed success at all. Power breeds failure. Power breeds destruction. You know, we brag and re we will reward the leader who accomplished some great achievements, but everybody knows it wasn't the leader that did it. It was everybody else. But we want to give the leader all the glory and fame because they have the power, they have the prestige, they have the recognition. Oh, if I could just get my picture taken with that important person, I will be important. Really? If power is the only action a person uses, then they have no position. They have no ideals. They have no argument to present to anybody. They're just using power. It's the the attitude of, I told you so. You should have let me do it. I told you so. I mean, it's it's the fault of the Me Too movement. It's the fault of Black Lives Matter. It's the fault of Antifa. 
whatever. I don't care which one it is you want to give. KKK, I don't care which one you want to give it. When we give a group of people power because we're afraid to stand up to them, then chaos and destruction will happen eventually. When power is used to control people, we should be challenging them instead of cowering or running away. Is it painful? Yeah, probably. Especially when we've let them go on far too long, give them way too much power, it becomes hard. You know, power may be seen as strength, but instead it causes isolation. It causes disconnecting from society, from the public, from people, it causes weakness as, as they're using their power because they can't build consensus. They can't build community. They can't build Yeah, they can't build consensus or community. You know, they can only do it through the might of their strength and their power. You know, whether we lead or whether we follow, we have to hold authority accountable. Whether it's somebody who says they are author they're in authority, somebody who says that they're right, somebody who says that they now have the power, we have to hold them accountable. We have to look for what's positive and what's negative and what's going on and, and enforce the positive. We have to build on what's sustainable. People in power can't build on a sustainable program. It has to get worse and worse and worse, the oppression that they bring. Leaders have to build for today and for the future, not just today. So we need to follow true leaders. We need to disrupt the powerful from continuing their actions that are destroying business, destroying communities, destroying relationships, destroying our country, destroying our states. Because at the end of the day, a person acting from a position of power will continue to act from a position of power to keep that power because it is intoxicating when you're in a position of power. And I'm going to give you a prime example to watch for. Today is October, what, 3rd, 2020. We've got a presidential election coming up in less than a month. We have the coronavirus going on, and it looks like, quote, another wave is coming, whatever. It, cases are coming back up. And some states are shut down, some states are not. And Congress has been arguing over giving more stimulus. In other words, printing money and using their power to give us what they think we want in order to vote for them. So here's the deal. Here's what power looks like. And here's the corrupting power. By October 15th, that's what? A little less than two weeks away? There will be another stimulus deal. They're probably this far apart. They're going to get this far apart. They will come up with a stimulus deal. Both sides will come out and say how they did it for the people, for the country, because the country is suffering. Yeah, maybe the country is suffering. You know why they're doing it? And you know why they'll do it right before the election? So you will vote for them. So you will continue to give them the power. I don't care which side it is. They both do it. Sad. That's what's going to happen. And that's the reason why. Don't typically want to go down the politics route, but what's going on in our politics today is a prime example of the failure of leadership and the corrupting and the corrupting influence of power that people get, that people have when they get a position of power. It should be a position of leadership. You know, truly, our country was... Our country is a republic. A republic means that the people are in charge. When did we give it over to the politicians to be in charge? You know, they vote for you to represent you. But that's not how they approach it. They only do when it's time for election, when they, when they want you to give them money to get reelected because I represent you. 
After that, they tell you what to do. They tell you what to think. They tell you how to act. They tell you what the rules are. And they don't listen anymore. They only do it for power because it's intoxicating to be in a position of power. We as a people need to wake up and we need to understand what's going on in the country. It's not because one side's racist, one side's whatever all those words are. That's not what it's all about. It's all about power and it's how they're using these ideas and these thoughts to get you to support them, to keep them in power, whoever it is. Right or wrong, it's your choice. But we need to stop giving in to the people who claim to have power and we need to show them that the people are in charge. It's your Saturday survival. Sorry for going down the politics route, but it just angers me to see the lack of leadership in our communities, in our states, in the country, and in business. Business not so much these days because customers can walk away. You can't walk away from the country, you can't walk away from your state, well you can, but you can't walk away from your community, you can, but it's difficult. Hope you have a great Saturday, hope you have a great weekend. Be wise to people who proclaim to be powerful. Let them know that they're not in charge anymore. They're only there because we put them there. And they're responsible to us because this is a republic. Once this country was formed and Ben Franklin walked out of the Continental Congress or whichever one it was and a woman on the street asked him, what kind of government do we have? And he said, a republic, madam, if you can keep it. Interesting foresight from a very smart gentleman. This is Mark Schinner coming from the porch on a Saturday. Have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow.